Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Orvieto, Umbria, the green heart of Italy. My name is Lorenzo Polegri. I'm a chef at Zeppelin Restaurant. We are located in the most beautiful building we have in town, the Palazzo Piccolomini, a Renaissance building that used to be actually the residence of a pope. And today we will start a trip discovering the best wine and food producers of Italy. So follow us in this beautiful journey. Yes. During our beautiful trip, we're going to visit and discover beautiful castles, old villages, and beautiful vineyards, wineries, and the best of our food and wine production. I will take you all over central Italy, visiting the regions of Umbria, Lazio, Tuscany, and Emilia-Romagna, meeting places where people are dedicated to their jobs and arts. We will travel from a village to another to discover the real soul of Italian taste. This is a new way to explore a unique country, and you will be surprised touching a new Italy, observing with new eyes of the Renaissance traveler, not a tourist. Truffles. Truffles are the most incredible creatures of our countryside. Truffles are fungus, mushrooms, and they grow underneath. We find them in our forests, growing in symbiosis with trees like conifers, oaks, cherry trees, and hazelnuts. Wild boars love truffles, and they find them thanks to their sense of smell, digging using their tusks and snouts. We love to spend time with Giovanni and his dog Chris, hunting the favorite ingredients to our kitchen. Our farm, Casa Segreta, is located in Baschi, and it belongs to our family since 1920. Casa Segreta Farm was founded by my grandfather Bernardino, and then my father Lucio arrived, and then now my son Tommaso and my brother Federico. We produce grapes and wines, extra virgin olive oil, cereals, herbs, fruits, and if we are lucky, we find truffles. The farm is located on the hillside of Baschi, a beautiful medieval village which lays on top of a hill on the side of a Tiber river bank. We offer farming experiences at Casa Segreta along with wine and olive oil tastings. We offer fantastic cooking and farming class at Casa Segreta. During our classes, we prepare great rustic meals with our produce, fruits, herbs, and using a large barbecue and a nice kitchen. The panorama completes the beauty of this experience, and a glass of Orvieto Classical Wine celebrates a special occasion at the farm. The farmer's market in Orvieto is another fantastic culinary experience to take. At the market, we find the best produce, fruits, cheeses, honey, nuts, and fish, but also flowers, shoes, knives, pots and pans, and clothes. The real star of the show is porchetta, our street food, which is prepared with a whole pig, deboned, and roasted with garlic, black pepper, salt, and wild fennel. We enjoy the market every Thursday and Saturday, with food tastings and funny jokes with the farmers and all the vendors we find at the square. Zeppelin Restaurant is our headquarter in the heart of Orvieto, Palazzo Piccolomini, and that's where we offer our cooking courses and cooking classes. Our classes are all hands-on, and our students come from the United States, Canada, and Australia, from culinary colleges, high schools, and hospitality schools. We offer also a great externship program to the major culinary colleges all over the states. Our trips and courses are accredited by the American Culinary Federation and the region of Umbria. We cook all from scratch, traditional recipes from breads to desserts, and gelato, of course. Our classes are funny and exciting for students, professionals, and amateurs. Every class starts with coffee and cappuccino, and ends with wines, of course, a few drops of grappa. September is the most important month for the farmers and for us because we have the grapes harvest. In the past, grapes were picked by hands. Nowadays, we mostly use a huge harvesting machine so we can save time and money, but it's not romantic like years ago, but that's life. We still play crushing grapes by feet. It's a funny way to celebrate the new season. When we have a special high quality grapes, we still do some of the harvest by hands. It's a sort of reenactment and quality of wine is much better. After the harvest, you have to bring your grapes to the winery and you use a huge tractors and a trolley. In the last years, technology of production changed a lot. 
Now, grapes are delivered at the winery by big tractors and trailers. We check the weight, the level of sugar and acidity in the must. And finally, grapes are dumped into the big crusher to start the wine production. Orvieto Classico is a fantastic wine produced in our town, and it's a blend of five different grapes, Grechetto, Trebbiano, Drupeggio, Verdello, and Malvasia. We produce Orvieto Classico and other wines with the label Casa Segreta for our restaurant Zeppelin and for the exportation in the United States. The use of modern technology and state-of-the-art equipment help us to avoid chemicals and too much sulfates and stuff like that. So the quality of wines is much superior. So what's buffalo mozzarella? Buffalo mozzarella is the mozzarella made with buffalo milk. It's something unique. We are lucky to have a buffalo farm in this area. The only buffalo farm of the area is in Monte Fiascone, a beautiful medieval town nearby. And we have people with a big passion for this cheese. Uh, they produce mozzarella, scamorza, yogurt, and ricotta. We come to visit the buffalo farm every week so we can get the best ingredients for our pizzas and other tasty recipes. While we are in Tuscany, we love to visit the Cinta Senese farm. Mamma mia! Cinta Senese farm breeds the pigs Cinta Senese, of course, and they are a special breed from medieval time originally from southern Tuscany. It's called Cinta Senese because they have a strip on the back, on the skin, that seems like a cinta. In Italian it means belt. Senese because they are originally from Siena. They are fed with acorns, chestnuts, and cereals. Their meats are the best we have in Italy, really the best, maybe in the world. We use the meats for the incredible curing products and grills. And for the famous guanciale, the pork cheek, we use in Amatriciana and Carbonara pasta, the best. What's the largest bovine in the world? Chianina cow from Val di Chiana, still in Tuscany. Beautiful. So Chianina cow is really the largest in the world and it's a descendant of the Etruscan Roman cows and oxen, of course. And they use them to pull war machines like catapults and parade carriages. These animals were largely used to work into the fields, pulling plows and carts. Nowadays, these cows are grown for the incredible and delicious taste of their meats, lean and muscular. So you really need to have a Chianina Fiorentina steak if you want to taste the best meat in Italy, and only on charcoal or on wood. What's the most important ingredient in Italian cuisine and Umbrian cuisine? I guess extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is one of the most important ingredients of Italian cuisine and a big pride of farmers in Umbria. Olive oil is produced crushing and pressing the olives that grow on our beautiful old trees, which can be hundreds of years old. The harvest takes place in November and December by hands or using machineries. Olives are collected in several crates and we bring them to the mill. The operator checks the weight of olives and finally dumps them into a large tank. And now the transformation begins. Olives are crushed by granite wheels, enormous granite wheels, or a modern processor. Then the paste is pressed in horizontal presses or old-style vertical presses. The liquid then goes to a centrifuge to obtain the extra virgin olive oil. And then we start with the real cooking. During our trip, you have to meet our friend Amedeo, the butcher, the best in town. So Amedeo the butcher is the most talented butcher in town, in Rovieto, as we said, and perhaps in Italy. He specializes in pork meat fabricating and curing, and every day he produces dozens of huge prosciutti, salami, pork cheeks, and most of all, the best porchetta in town. Our students love to spend time with master butcher Amedeo and his super sharp knives. Amedeo is also sexy. Sometimes we have difficult days, and we feel depressed and sad, so what's the only solution for that? Chocolate. The chocolate capital of Umbria is in Perugia, where we find Perugina Chocolate Factory. Here, the famous bacio of chocolate praline is produced in millions of pieces per day, and then exported all over the world. Perugina also offers professional chocolate classes in a beautiful cooking school under the wise and funny guide of pastry chef Massimiliano, Max for us. Every class 
here is a true joy and a great professional experience. Chocolate tempering, ganache, molding, filling, decorating, everything, eating. A full day of a chocolate experience is waiting for you at Perugina, along with a visit to the factory, museum, and again, a big tasting. The colors are the same, similar to this red wine, but it's not wine. So what's the other ingredient, the other soul of Italian cuisine which has this kind of color? Balsamic vinegar. While traveling up to the north, toward Emilia, we always stop at the Acetaia Picci, where the corpulent but peaceful Marco introduces his vinegar jewelry. Marco produces one of the best balsamic vinegar of Reggio Emilia, using the grape must and reducing it in a cauldron, like making maple syrup in US. When the liquid is reduced about to one third, he adds the vinegar and transfers it into a large barrel to age for years and years and years. Every year, the balsamic goes to a smaller barrel to evaporate more and more and becomes the balsamic vinegar we all love. The grand finale is the tasting of four vinegars from 10 to 50 years old, something unbelievable you've never seen before. Parmigiano is the best cheese of the world. It's not Parmesan, it's Parmigiano Reggiano. So Parmigiano Reggiano is really the most important and prestigious cheese we produce in Italy. It's mostly produced in the provinces of Parma and Reggio Emilia. Cheesemakers use unpasteurized cow milk and make these huge wheels with a weight of 90 pounds each. So the laborious Parmigiano producers work every day to keep this incredible tradition alive. No vacation, no summer, nothing, just work. The cheese wheels spend many days in brine, absorbing salt, the only preservative we use in production and then are aged in wooden boards for a minimum of 24 months before they arrive on your table. The Parmigiano Reggiano experts test each wheel, every wheel, no exclusions, before marking with fire brand to approval. Sometimes we have the privilege to taste all wheels older than 48 months. So remember, no more Parmesano, Parmesanito, but Parmigiano Reggiano. You guys probably heard the word brujut, right? all over the states, but we don't have brujut. We have prosciutto di Parma, which is the best prosciutto in Italy. Why not? Prosciutto di Parma is the most important cured meat in the world. It's produced only in the province of Parma using the leg of a heavy pigs or white large breed. The curing lasts two weeks, and salt is the only preservative used by the producers. After 18 months, the experts check every leg of prosciutto, and then they mark with a fire brand. Prosciutto is always served with thinly sliced, along with beautiful breads and sparkling wines Lambrusco. Alla salute! The first thing I cooked was custard, and I was five years old, and I tried to cook on uh, a small candle with, my, with the help of my sister. So who makes the best custard in town? I think it's Nando, I know that. Uh -huh. So pastry chef Nando, has his beautiful shop in Orvieto Scalo. It's not really in the center of the town, but still a nice location. And he makes the best local desserts, following all traditional recipes. All natural, all handmade, all beautiful and tasty. And we're lucky to have Nando as a friend because we can send our students to learn and work along with him during the externship and internship. So Nando, and we also have a nice breakfast actually. The original Mediterranean diet was based on three pillars, wine, oil, and bread. So let's go to see the bread. So bread is really an important part of the Italian diet and tradition. And local bakers really make incredible things. Working during the night, it's a really hard job, but someone has to do it. This area is famous for a local flour and old yeast used in the bakery. And our students, only the Braves, can come here and participate in the nightlife of the bakers. So we've been talking about cheese, the Parmigiano, the Buffalo mozzarella, but we also have a particular cheese in this area, and it's really stinky, but still lovely, goat cheese. 
The good form is in Canonica, which is outside of Orvieto, where Alessandro de Manuele ran this beautiful organic operation. There is a high respect for animals, and they produce amazing cheeses that we're gonna taste at the end of our experience. After one morning, making cheese hands-on and tasting beautiful local wines. So the fire is still on, we still have some wine, and have to go back to the kitchen because people are hungry, the children are hungry. So stay with us and come to Orvieto to join our beautiful programs. See you soon. Ciao.